few years back I had gone to this event called Gamer Connect and I saw some amazing custom mods over there and each of those cases looked really good but there are people who keep asking me like custom mods RGB will it add any performance to computer what I feel is that everything cannot be like performance oriented right let's say someone buying RX 100 and modifying it is just for looks someone buying a vintage car and modifying it again it's just for looks similarly modding a case is for pure aesthetics but in some cases modding a case will also add some performance the reason i'm saying this to you is because i'm planning to modify this case that i bought it from this brand called foxin by the way this is not sponsored i bought it online now what do we get to see in the box is all atx compatible they have included thumb screws it's a cheap case uh, front USB and front audio. Now let's open this box and see this case in real. Okay, I thought it is going to be similar to mid tower, but it is small in size. So the reason I bought this case is because it looks like a speaker or a subwoofer that I had seen on the internet. Right, the front part. The image of this case on Amazon looks little different. I actually thought there was a mesh on the front and mesh on the top of the case. But it actually looks little different. Anyway, let's check what else do we get to see inside. First thing that I could see in this case is that I have to mount a PSU on top left of this corner uh, and the fan facing downwards. And also I can see is a 2.5 inch SSD bracket and uh, and also I can see a two hard drive mounting uh, space on the front of this case and also at the back I can see an ATM fan grill but nowadays who manufactures an ATM fan uh, except Noctua I mean they are expensive now let's talk about motherboard Maybe I'll not be using a full ATX uh, motherboard here. Uh, I'm planning to have a micro ATX in this case. I don't think so like a full ATX motherboard will fit in this case. Anyway, now let's talk about modding this case. What I'm actually planning to do is proper push and pull configuration. To have that push and pull configuration, I have to make a mesh kind of a design on front of this case. And also I have to make a mesh on top of this case. By having a mesh on top of the case, what I can actually do is flip the PSU and make the fan to blow air out instead of blowing the air in. So now let's start painting this case with primer. Before I start painting this case with primer, I have to open the parts of this case and I have to make proper mesh design on the front and mesh design on top of the case. So let's start making that. So here's a quick update. I have done two coats of primer on the case. Before applying the second coat of primer, I have done proper sanding on the case. And the next two coats of paints are going to be white in color. Also, I have drilled holes on top of the case and front part of the case. So to have a proper airflow. And the theme that I have chosen is an old speaker with a cyberpunk touch on it. Anyway, the case is going to look very similar to the speaker that I had seen online. So the design is highly inspired by that speaker. So let's go ahead and start painting this case white color. To give a color, I'm using a matte white spray paint. And in the third step, I have applied three to four coats of white paint. And in the final step to give some design on the case, I have covered this case with masking tape. And now I'm spraying this case with gray color. So now I have done several coats of paint as well as I have done some designs on this case. Now it looks a lot better than the previous one. Now what I am actually planning to do is divide this video into two parts. The second part of this video is definitely going to be assembling this case uh, with the newly Intel Gen 14 or maybe upcoming AMD processor. For now I am thinking of uh, either 14 Gen 14400. Uh, but the latest gen is definitely going to be higher compared to the previous gen product. So I was building this PC for home server. I wanted this computer to be cheaper. But we'll see if the latest gen is going to be in my budget or not. For now, I'll be testing this computer case with the airflow. I'll be using anti-sports 
super flow in this case and i have chosen a deep cool 450 watt power supply for this build there's like one more interesting case fan that i have chosen for this build for uh, from this brand called alze i don't know how this fan is going to perform in terms of looks it's perfect for my build and it is made of a good quality metal it feels like they have used some high grade aluminium uh, let's assemble this and see how it actually looks by the way this is looking good and the interesting part is this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay i am in middle of making this video what do you want case case atna fn bahut mast dikh raha hai yeah isn't it that is what i was trying to say lekin to beech mein aa gaya let me finish this now anyway the entire case is looking good with this fan also in the next part of this video i'll be completing this build i'll be using truenas software in this computer i need a little bit of suggestion here from you people this time i'm planning to go with intel but let me know in the comment section which processor is better for truenas that's it for this video we'll meet you guys in the next one